Welcome everyone. My name is Vasu and I'm Mr. C. And we are your hosts for the Coolest Projects 2023 live stream. Welcome, everybody. We are so excited to be here live to celebrate the awesome work that you've all put into your Coolest Projects this year. For those of you who don't know what Coolest Projects is, it's the world's leading technology showcase for young people. If you enjoy making things with digital technology, then Coolest Projects is an amazing opportunity for you to get creative, have fun, and celebrate what you've made. Coolest Projects is free and open to anyone up to the age of 18, and you can join in wherever you are in the world. Each year, a panel of judges choose their favorite projects, but every project, every entry gets showcased in the online gallery, which, if you haven't seen yet, you can view at coolestprojects.org. This year, a record number of you took part in Coolest Projects, so I think we'll need a drum roll for the reveal of just how many projects are in our online gallery this year. We have had amazing response right we've had 4111 projects submitted from 5801 participants amazing. i mean incredible like just wow we've also had projects submitted from 37 different countries around the world so should we take a look at our coolest projects map to see where all of you have submitted your projects from absolutely and you know give us a shout out in the chat if you spot your country Amazing. Oh, brilliant. Look at that. So much stuff. You can see them uh, just all across the US, South America, so many countries, Australia. It's brilliant. Well, well, well. What else do we have? We have Sudan. We have so many people joining the live chat as well, Mr. C. This is great. We've got lots of shout outs coming in from India. One from the UK. Shout out to Jan in the UK. Yeah. Shout out to. Suchitra ma'am, Anu, Royal Killer, wow, what a name, joining from India, Rajan from India, Mariana Electron from Mexico, hello. Yeah, yeah, Salamat Datang, Malaysia, awesome, lots of people coming in from all over the world. So cool, such a global like community that we have going on, right? It's brilliant. Amazing, yeah. We have Sonia from Ireland, hello Sonia. This is brilliant, brilliant stuff. We have Anu from India, we have Jan uh, from South in South England, we have Muhammad Fazan from Pakistan. Salam alaikum. Um, brilliant stuff. Brilliant stuff. Very cool. That's amazing. I love seeing where all the community comes from, especially when you get on the live streams and they jump on and start chatting. Like, so jump into the chat, everybody. Don't be afraid to shout things out and tell us where you're from all the way through. Exactly. And you know, Mark, like one of the best things about Coolest Projects is how it brings together digital makers from across the world. Just something like we just saw, right? This year, some of those teams sent us a digital hello. So let's check that out. Yeah, and let us know in the chat if you see your team or club in the video. Right, let's go one more time. Three, two, one. Cool to see all those 2023 participants. <laughs> yeah. Love it. Love it. So, who's judging this year's coolest projects, Mr. C? This year, uh, we've got drum roll. Innovator, speaker, and UK Young Woman Engineer of the Year, Yawande Akinola. 
revolutionary educationist and co-founder of the Young Tinker Academy and the Young Tinker Foundation by Shali Sharma, the head of community development for metadata centers, Aoife Flynn, an award-winning digital change maker and power of youth champion, Lela Haloum. So let's hear what some of our incredible judges had to say about this year's projects. Hi, I'm Yoande Akiola. I'm an engineer and an innovator. Massive congratulations to you for some incredible entries. I was blown away. I was blown away by the creativity. I was blown away by your coding skills. I was blown away by your ability to solve real life problems. Um, you were solving a lot of climate problems uh, with some of the stuff that you have done, which is absolutely amazing. Please carry on using your great skills in coding, your creativity um, to make our world a better place. Um, I'm looking forward to seeing where your journeys will go. Hi, my name is Aoife and I work with our Meta data center communities across Europe and Asia. Meta sponsored the hardware category this year, but we were so impressed with the entries in every single category. Your creativity and hard work was so inspiring for everyone here at Meta. Your imagination is going to create the future for all of us, and we can't wait to see what you build and create next. Hello and namaste from India. My name is Vaishali and I'm co-founder of Young Tinker Foundation, and I have been judging your Poolist project this year. It was so wonderful to see all your creations and hard work that you have put in this wonderful project. Congratulations to everyone who participated this year. So keep coding and surprise us with your next innovation. Bye. Wicked. You know, we have had some really seriously cool judges this year and we're lucky to be joined by Lela Haloom live later. So yeah, say, yeah. stay tuned. I'm very, very excited about that. So, But before we announce the favourites for our first category of the night, we thought we'd check in with a previous favourite. So last year, Alex and Oakley's project, Egg Dog, was chosen as a favourite in the games category. We caught up with them to hear about what they've been up to and what digital making means to them. So I'm Alex and this is Oakley. And we're from Montello Primary School Code Club Tasmania, Australia. So the Egg Dog game, this is the first game we made, I we ever made, or well, I think Oakley's made some others. Um, but this game we made on Metcode and it's like a pixelated platformer. Well, I think it's really cool because you can, if you just make up like a character, the comic or a book or anything really, you can turn it into a game. Um, because coding can take a bit to learn, but once you actually get the hang of it, it's pretty easy. So then you can just make any character into a game and bring them to life. Basically the same here. So once you get to learn how to code, it's really easy and you can basically do anything. There's nearly no limit at all. I think I'd make a zoo with tons of animals or just start and make 3D games. Yeah, I'd pick the set in my Alex. Except 3D games would mostly be yeah, cool and stuff. And maybe making even bigger games would be a big surprise for me and you since we have just such little coding experience. I think we could expand more. Mate, I love hearing from our participants, especially budding game developers. So that's the best. And from a code club all the way in Tassie, Australia. So cool. Shout down, down under. Woohoo. Yeah, right on. Shout out. So that's it. I reckon we're ready to announce the favorites from our first category of the show, the mobile category. I'm so excited. I love the mobile category, Mark. Yeah, me too. It's um, the best. Like, I love the way that you have to think about using minimal amounts of memory in the mobile category, try and get it on the device so it works so well. So let's see how our favorites are. Fantastic. 
fantastic. We have Recycle the Right Way by Emma from the UK. We have A Stocks by Emery from Belgium. Clean Car by Harish, Anjir, Vatsalya, Arya Adi, and Satvik from the UK. And we have Bookworms Unite by Ayushman from the UK. I want to download all of those onto my phone immediately, Vasu. I love the mobile category. And like I was saying before, the way you have to be clever about how you use memory and things yeah. like that. Very cool. And think about the UI as well, the way your user interacts with it. It was really nice to see some of the screens there where you can see the big, clear UI, easy to read instructions. Very important for accessibility and things like that on mobile. Absolutely, absolutely. And I'm going to beat you uh, to, you know, downloading this, those things on the app, <laughs> uh, the, on my mobile. I'm going to free some space right after the stream and download them all of them. It's cool. We're getting so many people pinging us in the chat too. We got Zoe. Nice to hear from Zoe. Coda Dojo shouted us out earlier. It's good to see everybody in here. Amazing, awesome. amazing. We've had so many people join in. Like this is brilliant. Uh, hi, Kevin. Uh, and you know, like Kevin's congratulating everyone who's win. You know, who are, who's the favorites from the mobile category. We have loads more, so stay tuned. And yeah, this is Absolutely. brilliant. It's so cool. And we've got a pre-recorded segment now from one of our uh, learners in the USA. Hi, so my name's Agrav and I live in Austin, Texas. So for the Clues Project competition, I made a 3D pixel shooting game called Doom Eternal 2.0. It was inspired by Doom Eternal and a few other games I play. The objective is to kill all the monsters, get to the queen, and save her. And it took a while to make, but in the end, I think it was really worth it. I like digital making because it really allows me to express my creativity. And it's also really fun making your own games uh, and you can, there's so many possibilities, you can make things no one's even ever thought of before, and it really opens up like a new world. So I've thought about this, and one thing I think would be really cool is basically an electric robot that can help with construction. Because uh, during the construction process, it takes a lot of time, effort, and also, um, there's a lot of carbon gases and waste polluted into our environment. And I feel like these electric robots, uh, if I could code or make one, they can make a big impact on construction and basically our whole ecosystem and environment. Brilliant ideas, right? An electric robot that can help with construction. Such a cool project. I mean, that's really like... You know, Agrav, I so want to see that project in Coolest Project Showcase next year. And yes, don't forget, please let us know in the chat if you're from a code club or from a coder dojo, apart from telling your countries, please do let us know, you know, if you are joining from either Greece, coder dojo in Greece or, you know, Sudan, a code club in Sudan, please do let us know. And so every year, our young creators make incredible projects that tackle some big issues in the world. And we're very grateful to have partnered with the Broadcom Foundation to encourage students to solve community problems related to health, sanitation, energy, climate change, and a bunch of the other challenges set out in the 17 Sustainable Development Goals of the United Nations. Broadcom's Coding with Commitment is a special recognition for a Coolest Projects creator aged 11 to 14 who's learned basic coding as an essential problem-solving tool in STEM and is thinking globally but acting locally. So, this year's Broadcom Coding with Commitment Award goes to an incredible project, Smart Farm. Smart Farm was created by Dang, Shi, and Anne from Vietnam. Smart Farm was designed to help farmers in their community regulate the temperature of animals, feed them on time, and check them for diseases. 
The team also built a fish pond model that tests the pH level of the water and also built a vegetable garden garden model that detects when vegetables are wilting. Oof, look at the complexity of that. So yeah, congratulations yeah, yeah. to Dan, Steve, and Anne. And a huge, huge thank you to Broadcom Foundation. So cool. Solving problems, like real problems, or right? technology. It's really cool. And it's, uh, it's time to announce the favorites from the advanced programming category. I love this category, Mark. Like there are always some, you know, incredible ideas and super complex code. Absolutely. On. Yeah, yeah. Lots of people combining different technologies to make complex solutions. Really amazing to see. And our thanks to Cube RT who sponsored this category. And the favorites are Bloodbox, a diagnostic tool for bloodborne diseases by Ved and William from Ireland. Next up, we have automatic door opening system using artificial intelligence mask detector by Chiranjeevan from India. What is best for you to watch by Leah from Israel. And we have WebJaws package tool by Vlad Grab Gabriel from Romania. Congratulations, everyone. What an amazing category. It's so cool to see with the advanced category when people solving, like we're saying, real world problems coming out. And there were a couple of medical ones in there that were really cool. We saw one that was like detecting whether you had a mask on as to whether to unlock the door for somebody or not. And that was a really interesting problem to solve. I think it's just so cool the way they're different. And again, the combinations of those technologies to make a real solution is super cool. And that's it, right? Like, we create stuff to solve problems. Yes, obviously, you do code for fun. But, you know, when it comes to solving problems, I think we have had so many entries this year who, you know, which are actually tackling real life issues. And that's what, you know, stands out for me for Coolest Projects, because the way it is set up, it's incredible, right? It is incredible. And yes, Rojeko, whoop, whoop, congratulations, everyone. And yes, like Rojeko said, it is meant for everyone, for everyone. And, you know, if you haven't seen your name yet, don't be disappointed. There are more categories. Absolutely. So, well, like I said earlier, it is the time. We are super, super excited to be joined live by one of this year's VIP judges, Leila. Hey. Leila, welcome to the Thank you for having me. That's our pleasure. So, Lella, you're yeah. a digital change maker and a power yeah. of youth champion. So, what words of wisdom would you like to impart to the next generation of inventors and innovators? Oh, where to begin? First of all, hello world, if you'll pardon the pun. And congratulations to all my fellow digital makers tuning into today's celebratory stream. When I was invited to be a VIP judge for the coolest projects, I immediately thought of little Lella. A young girl, only eight years old, teaching herself how to code. A testament to the fact that age is only a number and how digital making really unlocks our fullest creative potential. How we can venture into the unknown, where the only limits we put that exist are those we put upon ourselves. Digital making is my superpower and is definitely yours too. With just a few clicks and keystrokes, we can possess the ability to change the world. It grants the freedom to breathe life into our wildest imaginations and to connect us with friends of every corner of our world. And so, as we gather here today in spirit of the coolest projects, let us showcase the true might of digital making. Let us demonstrate how technology can touch hearts and inspire greatness. Digital making allows brilliance to thrive and innovation to flourish. But let's not stop here today. 
let's continue to use our digital creativity to explore new paths, to create, to innovate, and to inspire, as each and every one of you hold the power to make a big difference. So never underestimate the impact of your skills, of every line of code, of every stroke of creativity, because that has the potential to ripple around the world positively. So to all you digital superheroes listening, keep shining brightly and be unapologetically you. The world needs your light, your talent and your unwavering determination. As together, we're an unstoppable force, breaking barriers, overcoming challenges and paving a legacy for digital making magic. So superheroes, continue to embrace the spirit of digital making and harness it to shape a future that is brighter, more inclusive and has endless possibility. Believe in yourselves for you can change the world as the leaders of today and the trailblazers of tomorrow. Thank you and may the digital superhero within you continue to thrive. Hey, well wow. said. That was, that motivated me. <laughs> <laughs> And so I'm, I'm, I'm doubly sure that will resonate with many of our young creators. And thank you so much for joining us, Leila. I know we have ha you've had such a busy day, um, but we are excited to see the rest of the projects you choose as your favorites. Thank you, Leila. Thank you. Bye-bye, everyone. <laughs> oh, so inspiring. Amazing words. That was brilliant. That was very, very cool. Um, I'm going to have to watch this video back again, I think, to like make sure I took that all in on the second watch. It was just so much. It was brilliant. Very, very cool. And um, We've had so much fun looking through the online gallery this year, and I personally have definitely spent way too long trying to win a bunch of people's platformer games. Me too, Mark. Like, <laughs> I've, you know, I've spent more time than on it like that, that I should have. You know, I loved how many projects this year took games we know we love. Something like a Flappy Bird, which is so famous. And they put their own spin on them. So, you know, that was great. Like, and be, all of this was happened because, you know, EPAM Systems. So huge shout out to our sponsors, EPAM Systems, whose support means that we were able to have loads and loads of fun this year. Absolutely. And speaking of that, should we check out some of the projects from the fun topic? Absolutely. That gesture control car looked cool, right? Like the ability to drive a little. Yeah, I see car with your hands. So cool. I love that. Brilliant How cute was that squish party? Like, I really want to download it right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And shout out, Nina's also saying, look at that AR dragon. Yeah, that was crazy, right? Like, AR blows my mind. Like, I think that's such a cool application of technology. I really love AR. Very Absolutely. interesting stuff. So we are already halfway through announcing the favorites for this year's Coolest Projects. It's time to announce the favorites for the web category. Are you guys ready? Yeah, I'm ready. All right. Fantastic. We have The Lost Festival by Winnie and Toki from Myanmar. We have Igualdad de Janeiro by Fatima from Mexico. Um, elderly Healthcare Assistant website by Ene from Nigeria. And we have Online Voting System by K Kaveri, Sumalata and Vaishnavi from India. Very cool. Oh, very cool. Like, you know, and first of all, congratulations to all the favorites from the web category. They all look so professional, right? Not like so professional. Yeah, they all look pro. Like, it was great work. It was brilliant. And, like, I particularly liked online voting system. And um, that's from one of the clubs you went to visit, is it not? 
Yes, you're absolutely yeah, yeah. right. I'm glad you remember. And I was so uh, honored, actually, uh, to visit that school. It's a uh, coding academy down uh, south in uh, India, in Hyderabad. And the projects that these children make, it's, it's amazing. That online voting system actually tackles a real pl- problem, right? Like parents can't. Students also can't. It's, it's a residential school. It's just amazing uh, with the kind of projects that have come this year. It's brilliant. Yeah, really cool. Yeah. Yeah, and web development, like we were saying before, Ben's just probably seen the web devs of the future, right? And like the internet yeah. is worldwide. Being able to have those skills are very tangible skills to be able to create websites, very, you know, transferable yeah. skills worldwide. Very handy. Absolutely. And I don't know if you noticed, Mark, but one of our web favorites this year was Fatima from Accenture Dojo, Accenture Coda Dojo in Mexico. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Iluada de Genero, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, Luckily, last week, we caught up with Rahina, who is from Fatima's Coda Dojo, and she chatted about all things Coolest Projects with us. Hello, everyone from Yucatan, Mexico. I am Rahina. I'm from Isla Mexico, Mexico. For my project, I did a web page about health and wellness, where I put information about the topic and a body mass index calculator. Because that way, that way I can develop my ideas and create content to facilitate what people are looking for. First, I will help my mom create a web page for her business. And also, I would like to have my own company so I can create content for the public. Amazing. So cool to hear from Rahina. We can see she's getting shout outs from home. Very yeah. nice to see. I mean, so many of our projects this year were focused on how we can use technology to lessen our impact on the environment. And we're so grateful that the environment topic was sponsored by Liberty Global. So thank you very much, Liberty Global, for that. Yes. And it's been amazing to see so many of you use your coding skills to create something that helps change the world for the better. Shall we take a look at some of them? Yeah, yeah. Brilliant work from everybody. So cool. Absolutely. I love the last shot, the solar lamp one. Yeah. It was so good. Yeah, yeah. The way the shot was taken, right? Just that alone was very, very cool. Yeah. Well, it's time to announce the favorites for one of the favorite categories uh, is, can you guess? It's my favorite category. Yes. Let's see if in the chat, if someone can guess. I think I just gave it away. No worries, no worries. And I see some of some some of us have responded. Yes, it is time to announce the favorites for the games category. I have loved, absolutely, absolutely loved this year's games category, Mark. So yeah, are you ready? Yeah. I was born ready. Let's see those favorites. We've got Chicky, a virtual companion by Benjamin from the United States. Next up, we have Iron Defense version 2 by James from the UK. We have Splat by Brian from Malaysia. And then we have Dim Light by Adrian and Chang Zhao from Malaysia.
Splat looks cool. Yeah. Congratulations, everyone. And that was amazing. Some really fantastic games in there. Uh, and there were two favorites I noticed from Malaysia. So, Selamat Datang di Keluarga Ini. Last week, we were lucky enough to catch up with Yu Han and Yu Hong from Malaysia to ask them what they love about Coolest Project. So, let's check out what they had to say. I am Yu Hong. I am eight years old and I am from Malaysia. Uh, my name is Yu Han and I'm from Malaysia. This year is 11 years old. I made a project called Smart Alarm. It is a device to detect high temperature flame and smoke for preventing house fire. My project name is called Forest Cut. I made this device for the purpose to prevent forest wildfire. It is fun. I can learn and make something interesting to play. Digital making, first it is fun. If I have an idea, I can try making it into a real prototype by using digital making. I wish I could build a safe home that can protect people from disasters such as earthquake, fire, flood and virus. I want to make a smart cleaning robot that can help me to clean everything at home, such as cleaning the floor, kitchen, toilet and help me tidy up my stuff. That was that was really cool right, to hear from those guys. Saw the stuff that they were doing, and so young to be making such things, right? Brilliant. Never too early. Never too early. Like Leila said, she was eight years when she started. Yu Hong was eight years old. Very cute. Um, but yeah, like like we said, there's no right age to start, uh, and there's no right age to stop. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, and as a few no. of our people have come on today and said, a few of our contributors have said, like, there's no upper limit either to the stuff that you can do. Once you get going, the only upper limit is your imagination, right? You can create anything that you want. Absolutely. Well, so, Mr. C, we're down to our last two categories. Let's have a look in the chat to see what everyone has to say. Let's look at what are people saying. Yu Hong is brilliant. Yu Hong, yeah, yeah, yeah. People shouting him out. That's really cool. And another one here. His cleaning robot sounds amazing. That does Absolutely. sound amazing, actually. I would love a cleaning robot. I don't know about you. I think that would be one of the, the first things that oh, I would right. when we start getting like, you know, housebound robots. Cleaning robots got to be the first one, doesn't it? Absolutely, absolutely. We've had some like uh, in Japan, uh, I think there are like functional hotels which have like robots cleaning stuff. We need that in the UK and India, Mark. That'd be awesome. I'd be up for that. I don't have to clean my bedroom. <laughs> Michelle, it's Kevin shouting out Malaysia. Yeah, yeah. Selamat datang, Malaysia. Nice to see everybody coming in from there. We had lots and lots of entries from Malaysia this year. It was really cool to see. Yeah. And we've had people. Oh, Rishan. Hello. Hello, Rishan from Codenest Mohali. Uh, Punjab, India, one of my very, very favorite bunch of people. So thank you so much for joining. Absolutely. And we're getting loads of people showing us. Yeah, they're all over from the world, from Greece, lots of places. Nice to see everybody coming in, shouting nice. out. Really cool. Brilliant. Really cool, everybody, thank you for chiming in, guys. Don't stop. Keep shouting in the comments. Tell us where you're from. Shout out people who are getting awards, all those sorts of things. Keep chatting to us. Yes. And uh, I see lo loads of people asking, uh, you know, the categories that are left. So that leads us perfectly onto announcing the favorites from our penultimate category, which is hardware. And a huge thank you to Meta who sponsored this category. Favorites are omnidirectional LiDAR using a single point TOF sensor by Arna from the USA. Next up, we have Leak Detector Pro by Aram and Bazma from Palestine. We have Robotic Arm for Health Monitoring by Jayaditya from India. And next up, we have IoT-based Smart Crop Caring and Monitoring System based upon SDG 2 and 9 by Acom from India.
Amazing. Brilliant. There are always some so many cool projects in the hardware category. So congratulations to all of our hardware folks. Like, not to be glib about it, but like the hardware category is hard. Like, it's hard to do things in the real world with tech and get that code to access the real world, do physical computing. Like, it is tricky. And I know lots of mentors, teachers, parents that I talk to say, like, helping your young person do those hardware things can be even trickier than doing just, you know, your normal coding and things. So, those people who've gone out and done real world solutions, hardware solutions, I have nothing but respect for you. It takes so much persistence, you know, and sort of grit and determination to get to the end of a physical computing project. So, well done everyone in the hardware favorites absolutely plus 100 percent to whatever mark said and keep on doing that you know just uh there is no end and as long as you're willing to learn uh the curve should just go on so continue doing that continue creating amazing projects like something like a robotic arm for health monitoring that's you know going to help everyone around us right so congratulations everyone Absolutely. And this year, actually, we had a record number of entries from one country in particular, Vasu. And they keep shouting us out in the chat. They're jumping in the conversation. You've stirred them up. You've got a whole crowd of people and they are all from India. Yes, we certainly did. And I'm, I'm so happy um, that we were able to do this in India. We, you know, uh, we did so many webinars. We did so many calls. Uh, but ultimately, it was, you know, the learners, the club leaders who just took it out. Um, it was a hard time. There were examinations going on in India. Um, but, you know, we participated with full enthusiasm. So, pranam and namaste to all people joining from India. Thank you so much. Uh, you have made us proud. And, you know, there are a few clubs in particular that I'd like to give a special shout out to for all their hard work and enthusiasm this year. Uh, let's take a look at some of their projects. Everyone, I mean, you know, from all these organizations and not from these organizations also. I know that there are loads of people who have joined in uh, who are not directly working from these organizations. But, you know, a huge, huge thank you and shat shat pranam. Thank you, Vasu. That was really cool to shout them out. I mean, one of my favorite things about Coolest Projects is seeing how you use your amazing technology skills to help others, just like Vasu was saying before. And this year, we had 537 projects that were designed to help young creators, local communities around the world. So let's have a look at some of these inspiring projects. Amazing. Such cool games. That Spectrum one at the end. I love the graphics in it, the rainbow graphics and everything. It looked like someone spent so much time to make really yeah. cool 8-bit looking graphics. Really, Absolutely. Really cool. yeah. The project just right before it, the AQI monitoring system, uh, if yeah, I'm yeah. not wrong, that was such a cool project, right? Like it's a real life problem for people, at least in the north of our country and uh, a project made to help solve that problem. I guess, I mean, you know, children in today's day and age, are amazing. I, they're just so cool. I just keep wondering to myself, what was I doing 
apart from playing cricket at their age, you know. <laughs> I think I was breaking stuff mostly. I think I was pulling things apart to see what was inside them at that age, more than like creating new things, you know what I mean? It's really inspiring yeah. to see all these young people like doing things, making new things, and like you're saying, solving problems for other yeah. people in their community. That's so huge. Absolutely. Now, I have had a look at the chat and it's going crazy at the moment. People asking for when will our favorite category come in? So it's finally time to announce the favorites for our biggest, most favorite, most asked for category, Scratch. So a huge thank you to Alliance Technologies who sponsored this category. Yeah, we had over 3,000 Scratch projects this year. But as we know, Scratch can be literally anything. It's why I love it so much. It's why it's my go-to coding language for concepts. I love teaching it. I love using it. I can make wild stuff with it. Um, we've had everything. Games, music, art, even artificial intelligence in Scratch. So let's check out this year's favorite Scratch project. We've got Pollution Fighter by Latasya Himenurianda from Indonesia. Then we have Spaceship Escape Room by Enoch from the UK. Arthur's and Daydream then, by Shin Yi and Sita and Kabirat from Ireland. And we have My Healthcare by Jayantika from India. Fantastic. What a category. What a category. Did you see any product you recognize there, Mark? Yeah, I did actually. Arthur's Daydream was one that I got to judge. Um, and I gave that one really high marks myself. I thought when I saw that in the favorites, I was like, I am unsurprised that one was there. That was really cool. The, again, another one where a lot of effort was spent on the aesthetic and like making it look really nice as well. So the game worked really well, but the aesthetic was also like incredible. The effort that had gone into that was like very obvious to me. Absolutely, absolutely. And we have Nick saying, I love Scratch. It's so easy and free to use. Absolutely. Like Scratch is, uh, when it comes to block-based programming, like, you know, Scratch, 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 all the way. And absolutely. like Mark was saying, you can do so many things with Scratch. Now AI. Yep, yep. AI, absolutely. That's right. We can do all sorts of things with it. We can like get machine learning models brought in, different versions of Scratch. It's an incredibly powerful thing. And um, lots of people think because it's colorful blocks clipped together that it's yeah. like childish and kiddie, but it's actually an incredibly powerful coding language. And so that's it, everybody. We've announced all of the favorites for Coolest Projects 23. Yes. And before we go, remember if your project wasn't mentioned by one of our judges, Please don't worry. Those were their favorites, right? Everyone has their favorites. I have different favorites. Every project we have seen on the showcase was absolutely brilliant. And you should be so proud of what you've achieved. Totally, yeah. And every single creator will get a certificate to celebrate their amazing work. And this year, look out for some special badges on your certificate too. Yes. Uh, thanks so much to our sponsors this year, Broadcom Coding with Commitment, Meta, Cube, Liberty Global, EPAM Systems, and Alliance Technologies. And a huge thank you to you all for watching and celebrating Coolest Projects 23 with us. We will see you next year. Bye. Bye.